Hey yo, what's up and welcome to my corner of the internet. Before we start the video, can you like, comment, and subscribe? That really helps me out. I really want to grow this channel out and I want to keep making content for everybody. Appreciate it. As an avid manga reader and anime watcher, we all know when something is going to become big. You get some sense of it somehow during the years of trudging through horrible animes, bad endings, and unfortunate adaptions, you know when a show has the right ingredients, all it takes is for them not to mess it up. And let's just say I had a sense that Boku no Hero was going to be big, Chainsaw Man is definitely going to be big, Blue Period is going to make a splash because it's different, and now Tokyo Revengers. And I really think this anime is going to be one of those that's going to be amazing and it's part of a new trend in anime. <laughs> So my introduction to Tokyo Revengers was actually, I avoided it. Um, I saw it on manga literally maybe roughly a year ago. The timeline's a little weird, but I remember seeing it and I read a couple chapters at first and I was like, uh, it has the time travel gimmick and I didn't really like it. I didn't take to it at first, but it always was consistent. And for me, one of the main important pieces for me to get into a manga is if you're consistent, like I see you every week, I will more than likely keep giving myself shots to try and read it and get interested and that's what happened it took me a couple months of me trying it reading the first chapter getting to 20 chapters and I started to love the show and then that's when it happened I was obsessed <laughs> Because here's the problem, Japan has this problem, when they have a key point or a key gimmick in their show, they run it into the hole, and sometimes I hate that. I hate how they can run a trope into the hole or they can run some sort of idea like isekai into the ground, and that just turns me off and makes me not want to read it. And even though it could be big, I just wish it has other pieces to the story that makes me want to stay and read and appreciate it. <laughs> Tokyo Revengers at first is just like that, but with the gimmick is to get people interested. And in that moment of interest, I realize what other pieces of the story are important and it's the emotions and it's the quest to save others. And I grew to love this character. I grew to enjoy the story and I grew to love the character as he grew through the story and every piece of this character is very important for the story. <laughs> if you're still confused about what show I'm talking about, I'm obviously talking about Tokyo Revengers written by Ken Wakui and this is an action, drama, and supernatural where we follow Takemichi's journey to save the love of his life and his friends. And a wild adventure this is. This story is filled with all types of gang shit. People are getting beat up. I can't believe there's barely any adults around. This story is amazing for some of the craziness that goes on. It's a little unrealistic sometimes because it's just like, bro, what are you kids getting into? But I can see myself in that. This story is very good at translating into I guess what being a kid was for me like personally I see this story as being incredible for showcasing the coming of age of a boy the coming of age of his friends and I personally feel that because I'm currently 24 and I grew up once again, I mentioned not in the best neighborhoods and seeing what my friends were getting into, some of the choices back then and how they translate now as we're adults. I'm seeing that right now currently and it's, it's interesting and it's unfortunate at times too because this story gave me a lot of flashbacks to what happened in my own personal journey through life. <laughs> 
俺がなんとかしないと So, why Tokyo Revengers is amazing to me and why I totally recommend it and why it's definitely going to be big is because the emotional content within this story is incredible. Like, the gimmick at first is a little annoying, but it starts to make sense as the story grows and we start to see how time, future, and interactions. Are difficult to juggle, and it's so funny to see how our main character has to deal with the fact that he has this cheat code, but unfortunately, just because he has it does not solve every issue, and that's where the story is incredible. He has to use his mind, make connections, and he has to avoid ends and save people, and he has to be more than what he is because, let's be honest, he's weak. He doesn't really have anything special other than his fighting spirit and a willingness. Not to give up on people that he loves. This story gave me flashbacks, like I said, and within those flashbacks, I see myself. I see myself looking back on friends, friends that are getting in trouble, friends that ended up in jail, friends that ended up doing bad things, and friends that ended up in other places dead. And unfortunately, this story. Touches on that because as boys, we all grow up with a group of friends, we grow up surrounded by people, and we all make our choices. And not always, our choices as teenagers and kids don't always define us as adults. That's very true, but very often there are precursors to what a someone can become later on in life. And Unfortunately, that's what happens to us as boys. A lot of things you look back on, you realize were the beginning stages of other things. And growing up, I've had to deal with my own choices and things that I've done and realize how they have impacted my own life. One thing I like about the current manga and anime is they're going quick. It's quick, fast, the story gets to its point, and we're seeing a lot of that with the current greats. A lot of stories are just moving very quickly. They're starting, they're ending. The story just is quick and to the point. It's a very different landscape, and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. A lot of surprises, a lot of stories are coming out with hits, and I'm really enjoying the ride that these stories provide. They're quick, they're fast, and they're totally enjoyable. And Tokyo Revengers is going to be an emotional anime filled with so many great fights and moments. And it's very human. This story reminds you what it means to be human, and it makes you think if I could go back in time, who would I save? Who would I help out? And what would I go at least avoid as someone with that power? And this story is gonna showcase a lot of realities for a lot of people. It, there's a few characters, their exact story happened in my own personal life with friends and with personal relatives, stuff like that. The show got me. The show got me when it seems so realistic because the adults aren't around as often, but the consequences that come to adults are around. And that's when the story becomes real. The story isn't all fictitious and unnecessary. The story. Is filled with some harsh and grim realities and some unfortunate circumstances that happen to our characters, that happens to Mikey, d r a g o n and so many different characters. And we see some pretty traumatizing things. And crazy enough, our main character has to deal with these traumas. And you know what I like about the story? There's a moment in the story the main character realizes he pretty much has got the perfect ending, except one person. Hasn't been saved. And that one person is the reason why he'll go back and fight again and again, and he knows he could end up dead because of it. But he will still go back and try to make sure that everyone gets a happy ending, not just. Some of the people, but all of the people, and that's so important for the story. And that made me fall in love with the story. And I can't wait for it to be animated. I'm definitely watching this. That point in the story made it so real and important to me. And it really 
is a beautiful story and I can't wait for it to unfold. So yeah, Tokyo Revengers, I hope you watch it. I hope you like the recommendation. Are you into the hype? Do you have you already read the story? Do you actually think the story is going to be big? I absolutely believe that it will. If you disagree, please let me know and please just hope, just hope and pray that they do not ruin this great story because the manga is incredible and I think it's a really worthwhile story and you should definitely watch it. You should definitely look out for it. And you should add it to your rotation of animes that you watch. Anyway, have a great day and be easy.